In collaboration with people living with disabilities, stakeholders have today called for more research in order to make services reliant on technology more inclusive and responsive. Addressing the press during the ongoing fifth edition of the Inclusive Africa Conference being held in Nairobi, Philip Thigo, the Special Envoy on Technology in the Executive Office of the President, highlighted digital inclusion as an enabler for the people with disabilities to access job opportunities and crucial services being presented by technology. Here are the details. In recent years, the tech industry has recognized the undeniable importance of diversity and inclusion, acknowledging diverse perspectives, experiences and backgrounds within the tech companies. is not only becoming a strategic advantage but also a moral imperative, despite the rapid technological advancements. Justice Laibuta, judge of the Court of Appeal and chair of the Board of Directors at Enable, notes that digital accessibility it's still a challenge for people living with disability in Kenya and Africa at large. So when we talk about accessibility, it's not just um, a mantra, it's not just a, a slogan, it's not just a political slogan, it isn't. It is what makes our lives kick. It's what makes persons with disabilities tick. Accessibility to us means everything, without which we wouldn't be of much use to ourselves, to our families, and that is where we must come together and brush away that notion that a technology for persons with disabilities is expensive. It isn't. It is the opportunity costs uh, that we, we, we get all wrong. We get our priorities wrong, and at the end of the day, spend money where we need not, and ignore where we really need to put our past and be counted. It's important to talk about digital accessibility, meaning that people with disabilities should be able to use any services that are provided by government or private sector companies with ease, just like everybody else. They do not need to seek assistance to use a mobile money application or to use a government service. So that's why we are having the conversation today, so that we see how we can support different organizations, different institutions, to be able to become more inclusive. On his part, Philip Tigo, the Special Envoy on Technology in the Executive Office of the President, called for more research in order to make crucial services inclusive. We need to ensure that we have research and data um, that is done with persons with disabilities so that we can better understand how to wrap around services uh, that are more responsive. And are more inclusive. At Microsoft, we truly believe that disability is a strength. People with disabilities make our company, our products, our services, our website, our culture better. So we are actively looking for talent with disabilities to join the company and help to make more inclusive products that work great for everyone. Aiming to promote digital inclusion for persons with disabilities in Africa, the Inclusive Africa Conference has since its inauguration in 2020 created a platform for persons with lived experiences, accessibility experts and other relevant stakeholders to share knowledge and create awareness about the importance of inclusivity. Hilary Kabila, GBS News.